Tonight, the troubling transfer of homeless people across the Gulf Coast. Mobile accuses Biloxi of using police officers to drive homeless individuals to the port city and leaving them here. It's demanding Biloxi stop immediately. As NBC 15's Andrew Ramey reports, Biloxi says it's not doing anything wrong and is working with shelters here in Mobile. They're always panhandling over there on the corner and sleeping in the park. Midtown resident Ton Eccles says he's confronted several panhandlers at Memorial Park by the Cannon and asked them to move away from people's homes. He says during one exchange about a month ago, a homeless man told him he'd come to Mobile from Biloxi. So I asked him, okay, so what brings you over here? He said, they brought me over here. I went, well, who's they? He said, the Biloxi Police Department. Then I asked him, well, did they, did they just bring you or did they bring other people? He said, no, they brought like 20 of us over here. I don't see them taking the Salvation Army and drop them off. Jamar Pettis says he's been homeless for years in Mobile and has witnessed on numerous occasions Biloxi police officers bringing homeless people to shelters in the city. How many homeless people from Biloxi have you seen Biloxi police or the city bring over here? Uh, about 30. In a letter to Biloxi's mayor, Mobile Mayor's Chief of Staff James Barber accused Biloxi police of coercing homeless people to come to Mobile using intimidating and deceptive tactics and warned them to stop. In a reply letter, Biloxi's mayor Andrew Gillich said Barber was misinformed. Gillich says since August of last year, Biloxi has been working with two shelters in Mobile that have better resources. Gillich says 22 homeless people signed consent forms and were taken to Mobile. A Mobile City spoke Spokesperson says they've contacted homeless shelters in and around downtown Mobile and have not found any that said they've been working with Biloxi. Eccles says he's concerned not enough is being done to address the growing homeless population he's seeing in Midtown. There's more transients, right? There's different people all the time. It's obviously you have people over there. I think one guy has Tourette's or something. He's always screaming, screaming vulgarities, mm -hmm. yelling, walking up and down the street. I call about him when I go to work in the morning. So I go to work before daylight and report it, but no one ever comes. That's my biggest complaint, no one comes. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Barbara warned Biloxi if they do not stop, Mobile will seek alternative actions, including the notification of the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation.